Hey guys, thanks for all the, the views and the comments. Don't forget to push the like button to do the troll heading because it's working. Um, I'm just going to tell you a few stories again. This one is a, it's a weird one, this, because a lad come to me. He phoned me out the blue because I did my security. I had the security posters on the wall. Brian Coppel, security to protect these premises. So he rang that number, come on below. So I just want to know you about a bit of security. So that obviously McIntyre had been on all that stuff, documenting stuff. He'd watched that and he'd seen it. So I got a lot of work through that because a lot of people seen me on there. So people would phone me. So anyway, this lad is about 20, 28, I'd say. The Asian lad, top of the range BMW, beautiful car. About a 60 grand car. And they met me. He said, can I meet you around? I can't talk on the phone. I said, okay, I'll, I don't want to speak anywhere on the phone. So I met him around Tesco, which is just around the corner, but about that, 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 what was it three, four minute drive, five minute drive, if that. So I met him around there, told him where I was. And anyway, he pulled me, so I said, no, I'll go and go in there because the cameras can lip read your mouth. So we stay out here and it was it was late nights. So he said, what it is, he said, I've got a problem. He said, my, um, my sister has had a virginity um, taken off her by a lad, a white lad. I'm listening, I'm going there. I said, what's he done? Raped her and all that. He said, how old is she? I thought he was going to say about 15, 14, 16 or something. Like Oh, she's uh, 23. 23, she's a full grown woman, no, my head, I was thinking. He said, Oh, the lad, what it is, is my dad's gone mad. And he said, uh, He said a name, like an English name, his name was, say, Gary. But he would use another name. I thought, You're not called fucking Gary. When is an Asian lad called fucking Gary? Only off, only for his nurses. <laughs> anyway, he says to me, My dad wants to beat him up. So I'm looking at him, is he a fucking cop? I said, So you're asking me to beat him up? So anyway, I thought, Fuck it, anyway. I'm talking, he said, oh, what would it cost? I said, oh, no, it depends what you want doing. He saw, I said, this is me. I get him on to, to see if I can get a few quid at a tax. Never going to do this. Never going to do the job. So I said, oh, it costs 10 grand if you want him really beaten up. But he went, oh, no, can I just have him beat up? So he's a bit of a mess, maybe like a broken jaw or something like that, and the black eyes and a broken ribs and things like that. He said, oh, he said, I said, well, it'll cost you five grand. He went, I'll just phone my dad to see if it's okay. So he's phoned him. He said, oh, yeah, I can afford that. I'll pay that. So I'm just sitting there laughing because I'm thinking, I'm not fucking doing it. So I said, well, how old's the lad? He went, he's uh, 25. So she's 23, he's 25. That fucking hell, we're just in love. How long have they been together? He said, oh, about nine months. I went, fucking, this is going on a bit, this. So he'd been going out with her, but he sucked her virginity without no getting married. I thought, yeah, but it's the 21st fucking century. We're not living in the fucking 7th century or something. So anyway, he's going on about this and doing that. I said, look, look let me do the job. So anyway, I won the phone. I said, I just want a couple of kids I've got the pay for. So I pretended I'm on the phone to a couple of lads from Newcastle. Yeah, they're going to come down. They'll probably come down the night, like on the night. You will give you the time when it's going to be done, what night it is. So you and your dad need to be out. Just even if you go in a, for a restaurant, go with your mum, whatever, and have a meal and all that type of thing. So give me his address and everything. So I'm, I'm taking a chance here because I think I don't need this kid. He's done fuck all wrong and he's, his girlfriend's with him for nine fucking months. So they weren't beat up, so I thought the best thing to do was well, pretend I beat him up. <laughs> I don't know, he's laughing. <laughs> you know what I think. Anyway, so I've gone and seen the kid. I've just knocked on his fucking arm, just come out with it. His girlfriend's in the house. And uh, he's come out. Just a little skinny thin lad. I said, Look, my name's what he said, I know, I've seen you on the telly and all that. And he knew me. I told him what the plan was. I went, Oh, it's unbelievable. He said, They're trying to split us up all the time. He said, This sat and the other. I went, Listen, you need to do this because if you get someone else, they're going to end up beating you up. So you need to listen to what I'm saying here. So he said, what should I do? And she come, he said, come in, Mayor Brian. So anyway, I sat down. So what you need to do? She said, I can't believe my mum and dad's done. Well, I don't think your mum's involved. Just your dad. So anyway, I said, what you need to do is, you need to pretend I beat you, got you beat up. So you need to do it. And you need to get on the phone. So I explained everything. I went through it a few, three, four times. So I left it for about a week to make it a little more authentic. Is that the wrong way of use? Auth authentic, yeah. So... I've contacted and I've told him what to do, so I've said, go to the sister judge, get a bandage, don't have the bandage to get, and get a sling for his shoulders and everything. I'm going to the chemist, get a sling, get the sling on, because they can help you with it in the sling, the chemist around that way. Cause she used to be a doctor, she's German. Anyway, she's put the sling on him on that thing. That's all done. And then go to the hospital, go in the hospital, which is uh, the Stockton one, go in there, put him in, a, put him in a wheelchair, put a bandage on his head, just a bandage on his head, He's got a sling on his arm, like this, with a sling. And and uh, he's, he's, he's going to go in the hospital. So I've, I've phoned them and said, oh, the job's been done. 
So I've just done the job. This is a week later, and I'm there, there at the hospital. They've already taken a picture before this, so they're ready. So they've got the hospital. He's, I said, put him in a wheelchair. Put him in a wheelchair. Pushed him near the things, but it was like dark nights, like I said. So she's moved back a bit, but you can see the sling on him. You can see him in the wheelchair, and you can and you see the bandage on his head. So she took a picture of him on the on the phone. I know. So somebody just beat such a not nearly said it. She didn't nearly said his name there under. So if somebody beat him up and he's in the right best blah blah blah, I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna go away for a week. So I said go away for a week, say. So it went away. They end up staying away for two weeks. So I said you use you, you do this. I'm getting. I told them I'm getting a good wink drink off them. So they've done the job. They've done the picture. They've sent it to him. I've listened to everything they've said to them because I'm there with them. And I've given them a thousand pound out of your money. I said there's there's a thousand pound. Go away for a few weeks. So they went away. They'll go away for a week, but they end up staying for a few weeks. So there, there, then she sent the picture to her dad and her brother. I told her brother and he sold the dad. They're over the moon going, oh, brilliant. They said, oh, brilliant. I've seen him. He's in hospital. He can't walk. He's, he's, he's in a wheelchair. Brilliant. Really hard. But my dad's over the moon. He said, my dad can go to sleep in the night and be happy. So it made them happy, thinking he'd been beat up. But he hadn't been beat up. I'd give him £1,000 to pretend and fuck off out the area. His brother lived in uh, Nottingham. They went down there and stayed with him. So this lad come and met me and give me the five grand. So I paid out my own money. I'd, go, I'd make good money then. So the family were happy that he got beat up and everything. He went away for a few weeks, come back, and just blagged it they'd gone to work and she stayed with him. I'm staying with him, I'm not leaving him now. He's like, he needs help, he's like, he can't walk, I'm gonna to have to look after him. They understood that then. So any anyway it got them together more in the end. And they end up getting fucking married in the end and being fucking you no know, together for good. So the, the mum and dad and everything were alright with him, but the end it was fucking mad. He was just he was old fashioned Indian lad, Indian Pakistani, I, I can't remember which one. And they like that, you know, old fashioned. So they were happy because he got his revenge and he got a good hiding. And that was like, oh, when he took her virginity, but she was fucking 23 year old. So another story in the day, the tax man, two young lovers, get them together, end up getting married and being, being happy. And the mum and dad were happy because he got a good hiding, but he never got a good hiding. Another little scam from the tax man in the day. You know what I'm like? Don't forget to push the like buttons. God bless you all. Love you all.